Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, there are some fights to bet on this weekend, for sure. Including this intriguing 54-pound showdown for the British title between Troy Williamson and Josh Kelly. This is Josh Kelly's step up at 154. Troy Williamson is the defending champion. And going into this fight, he was a slight favorite. At first glance, when the fight was announced, I definitely was leaning towards Troy Williamson. But after watching both guys' previous fights, this is a fight that is its going to be nerve-wracking to bet on. Because... Both guys are coming off ship performances. Williamson was getting chipped up by some no-hoper two fights ago. And Josh Kelly didn't exactly uh, look exhilarating in his last fight. I'm not a believer in Josh Kelly. Never been. He is what he is. He's a flashy three-round fighter. Gasses, and then he's pretty much very average when he gets tired. His defense sucks. A sucker for a counter puncher. Troy Williamson's undefeated. I would say he's a little bit of a bigger puncher. He's the naturally bigger guy. He's the undefeated guy. He's never been stopped. And Josh Kelly looked pretty soft at 154 pounds. How are you a prize fighter and you got body fat like that? I don't know, man. He's looking pretty... There is no, there's no six-pack. He's not chiseled. I don't know what that's about. Doesn't really give me any confidence in betting on him. Let's look at the odds of this fight. Let's see where the line is at. It's a dead even fight. Williamson opened as a minus 125 at first, so this is risky. But I have to stick with my instinct here. I think Troy Williamson is the tougher fighter. I think he's I think he's the more I think he's a naturally bigger guy. He's been fighting at a higher weight. He has more experience at 54. He's really a, a middleweight squeezing down to 54. Josh Kelly, he's not a guy that's really, even if he wins this fight, he's not a guy that I view as a future world champion or something that's going to do anything of significance in his career. But he is a marketable fighter, but he needs to get it done at this level, and he hasn't. Even though he's been pushed pretty fast we'll see man I didn't I wasn't impressed with Kelly's last performance he was in there with a decent guy his first real step up after getting destroyed by David Avenisian and he didn't look good I mean he wasn't strong there was no power he got winded he was he faded down the stretch and when he gets tired he's just a very average fighter there's just nothing of significance there. So, this is a risky play here, but I had to stick with my instinct. It is a winnable fight for Kelly, though. Williamson has not looked good in his recent fights, and he did get rocked two fights ago. But, and he is a pocket fighter. He's, he's right there in front of you, has a good jab, good right hand, good uppercut. It's a tricky fight, but I got to stick go with my instinct here. Let's see if uh, if this uh, if this fight goes the way I think it will go. There are other ways to bet on this fight, but it, it is risky. I mean, I don't like the over. Ten and a half rounds is a little too much, a little too high. I would most likely take the under on that. There could be a knockout in this fight, very possible. 
seven to twelve would be my pick here. Or you could do either guy at plus two fifty. Can the fight go to distance? Possible, but I think it's a risky play. I would rather take plus money odds and say the fight doesn't go to distance. So it's a, it's a good fight. It's a it's a real fight. Kelly will be tested, and this is his. This is it for him. He loses this fight. Might as well hang up the gloves. He's not. I mean, I don't think he's going anywhere, anyways. But at least he'll have a lifeline if he beats Williamson. Another opportunity. But if he doesn't, you know, it's time to hang up the gloves. Or he's just gonna be a British level fighter for the rest of his career, feasting on bombs from Hungary, like he did in his first comeback fight. Or wherever that country that guy was from, one of the countries where they can't fight for shit. So. I got to go with my instincts here, even though I was, you know, definitely hesitant after watching Williamson's last, uh, his, his last previous fights, but then you look at Kelly's last previous fights, especially his last fight, there's just nothing there. There's nothing really all that impressive, so I got to stick with Williamson. He might even knock Kelly out. Kelly will most likely gas, and then he'll be retreating, and he won't have any firepower to really keep Williamson off of him. Going with the bigger, stronger guy, more confident guy, the more undefeated guy in the defending British champion, Williamson, to win the fight. Let me know who you got. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.